Okay, welcome back to the second video, the next steps. Um, I think it's most practical to start with the electronics now because we need to get deep into the figure um, and it's just more convenient to fix all the suit issues when you're done with all the other modifications so you can really do all the futzing you need to do as well. Um, but we need to do one body or suit modification before we can do the electronics because that means a lightsaber as well. And then we need to be able to put on the jumpsuit again and you cannot put on the jumpsuit before you fix the arm issue. Part of that is this just getting in the way of the arms making it unable to go straight down. Uh, you clear the path for the arms that way good and voila now we can place the arms next to the body this is something that is uh, that's very important for a pose like uh, the uh, I've been waiting for you Obi-Wan pose okay as the good Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts that we are uh, always check the manual first when we're working with electronics. Um, let's look at the lightsaber arm first. It says there are three of the button cell LR621 batteries in there. Um, if you've seen my basic electronics video for collectibles, uh, you know what that means. They're always 1.5 volts and in this case they're in series, which is also explained in the video. Uh, seriously, if you haven't watched that, maybe it's a good idea to check up on that. Um, so three times one and a half volts in series means four and a half volts need to go to the arm for the lightsaber to work. Uh, and on the back, we can see the same goes for the um, uh, the speech system. And as always, the spring is the positive terminal here. Here too, the spring is the positive terminal and the plate is the negative terminal, so then you know which wire to solder to which. And then for the belt boxes, there are two of the button cells, so they expect to see three volts. We're working with USB power. Um, same example as uh, in the basic electronics video I used, <clears throat> which means we need a 100 ohm resistor for both belt boxes, so that's two, and then something like uh, 12 to 15 ohms for uh, safety for the speech system and the light up saber. So let's get that going. All right, so time to heat up the trusty soldering iron, get our cables, get our resistors, get our cable stripper. And as always, Let's start by pre-tinning everything. Other end as well. As you might remember from the earlier basic electronics video, always make sure to code your wires the same way so you always know which one was the positive terminal, which one was the negative terminal even if you have to revisit something you did years ago. So I have this wire, it has a white band along one of the conductors that always marks the positive terminal for me. And we have to put a resistor, oh I shouldn't have stripped that. We have to put a resistor in the path of the positive uh, connector. So this one needs to be shorter. I can always use my wire strippers for that as well. There we go. Now there's always tin on those things, so you don't need to pre-tin that. So tin on your iron so it conduct, conducts heat. Apply heat to whatever you want to solder and make sure you also apply the tin to the thing you want to solder. Why is that? As you remember from the other video, so the tin melts because your stuff is hot enough and not because your iron is hot enough. So it's important to get 
the proper melting temperature on whatever you want to solder otherwise you get a cold joint so never place your tin and your iron directly in contact before you know it's it's the proper temperature the tin will melt on whatever you want to solder as soon as it's hot enough and then you make sure you get uh, you know you have the right connection so mechanical connection next which means I twist these things together like so and then I have some copper curls in there to clean off my iron again to make sure the connection is always good like that now isolate the resistor from the negative terminal so we don't short out I don't have anything smaller than this unfortunately but it'll do the, the job especially after we shrink it this is heat shrink so it will shrink with heat like so I like to use this part of my soldering iron for that it doesn't melt the plastic too much and it's amazing how much this stuff can shrink as you can see it's already encapsulated the resistor like that good now we're going to work to US military specs so always make sure there's a mechanical connection as well which makes which means making a, a half bend then we get our Darth Vader and hook that on to the spring that is the positive terminal always with these cell batteries so that is connected now I always like to make a little bit of room behind the negative plate so I can slide in the pre-tinned negative wire which is all kinds of solid now that it's pre-tinned and it also means we have a solid mechanical connection for the negative terminal as well which is important you don't want things to come loose when you trip over a wire or anything else of that sort of that nature also apply heat and solder the connection like that so in theory the speech system should work let's test that out shall we okay first moment of truth um, we made sure the uh, switch was in the up position and we're going to check our work I um, had still had this uh, USB cable uh, this power cable we made for the basic electronics video so I'm uh, attaching the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative uh, from the wires coming from Darth Vader to the wires going to this plug uh, make sure they don't short out and then Let's plug it into a USB port on my laptop and see if we have sound. <laughs> How cool is that? All right, so shut up. That works. Let's move on to the lightsaber. Okay, so I'm not going to be screwing back the uh, cover plate because why would we? There's no real room for that anymore. Um, and it's going to be covered up by fabric anyway um, so
So, back to the Barbie dressing stage, which I hate. Um, now, you need to plug in this arm. And I remember from my own Darth Vader, that's a bloody nightmare. It really didn't want to fit very well into the socket on my Darth Vader. Um, so, let's hope it's better on this figure. Okay, so off camera I went through the same exercise we did with the voice system, which means I got some wire, stripped it on all ends, pre-tinned everything, shortened the positive terminal on one end, and inserted the 10, 10 ohm resistor. Probably be fine without it, but better safe than sorry, because again, we need four and a half volts in here. Removed the um, cover plate for the saber arm, and now we will be soldering the resistor with the Armney spec bent grip into the positive terminal, and then putting the negative terminal behind the plate again to make sure we have a good mechanical and electrical connection. And then we'll be testing again. Okay, so that's the positive terminal, making a little bit of room for the negative terminal. Again, because it's pre-soldered, it will be stiff enough to fit in there. And we will be applying heat to it as well, of course. Alright, so that should be good. Let's do another test. Okay, so I flipped over the arm so we can look into the LED. I got my laptop, I twisted the wires together for a test uh, setup, again making sure they don't, don't connect. Um, so let's turn it on. Boom! There you go. Okay, so here's a very important tip of something I just forgot. Um, as it states in the manual, before you attach the um, saber arm, make sure you get the part of the glove on the arm. That means you have to do that before you start soldering stuff together because afterwards you can't. So I removed the other lower arm for this one and this is why we did the soldering before we place the arm because now we can move the wire through the jumpsuit. Alright, so I removed the sleeve from the arm Thread the wire through. It should show up here. Good. Now place this back and hope for the best in attaching this part because, like I said, it didn't want to attach on my other Darth Vader very easily. So, going by feel. We have to insert the sh this elbow joint, making sure it's extended in the proper position. So, let's get those wires together. And thank God for Velcro, we can just close it up like that. Again, We'll be testing to make sure we don't we didn't break anything in the process. Okay, getting our laptop again. We should hear sound and see a bright red LED. Check. Moving on. Moving on to the belt boxes. I again prepared some stuff for you off screen. I got two wires, one for each belt box that I cut to the same length and I also made sure that they terminated at the same length as the other cable so I can um, put them all together in parallel wiring when everything is done. 
Uh, we're going to do a few things slightly different. Um, first off, we're not going to be doing an individual resistor for every belt box because A, it's not necessary and B, there's very little room to maneuver there. Um, so those pre-tinned wires are going into the belt boxes and then I connected the positive terminals of the two wires for the belt boxes together and we will be using one 68 ohm resistor because that would be what is necessary for a 5 volt um, power supply uh, where we want 3 volts to the LEDs um, and they're both in uh, there are two LEDs both in parallel so again if you don't know what I'm talking about please look at my basic electronics video uh, on my channel to explain everything again we will be isolating this by using a piece of heat shrink so there's no shorts all right I'm really taking you in close now um, remove the back cover of one of the belt boxes again and I hope you can see there's a terminal here and there's something here that can be bent up uh, which is what we're going to do because that makes our work our job a little easier um, please pay close attention this side away from the screw this is the positive terminal even though if you look very close there's a very small spring on the terminal next to the screw hole uh, and that's the only uh, example I actually I remember of the spring part being the negative terminal but this is the positive terminal so let's start soldering conveniently Hot Toys have placed a little loop hole at the end which allows us to bend the wire through to get a good mechanical connection this stuff is so light and small that the wires are messing with my camera placement okay so clean up the tip of our soldering iron there we go okay so I removed the other back from the belt box for you guys so you can see how the inside is put together um, I urge you to do the same they just flip off you can flip them back you can see this is the positive terminal going around the corner to this point here and then you can see the negative terminal it's marked ground here and there's a little part of the probably the LED or something or maybe the resistor that you can actually lift up and get a mechanical connection for the negative the ground terminal which is what we're going to do soldering iron again and this should be a solid connection Now we can't test this out yet because we have the 68 uh, ohm resistor for both wires so we need to make sure both wires are loaded. Press this back down so I'll be using a little bit of super glue to keep the back in place now that there's wires back there. I use the very thin super glue. You'll find a link in the description because it has the capillary action we want. And so that's one belt box. Off camera, I'll be repeating the process for the second one. Okay, so let's test stuff before we move on. Plug it into the USB connector. 
and there's no light. That makes sense because the switches are probably off. So let's flip the switch. Ah, there's one. And the other one. Uh huh. So that works. Now let's wire all three cables together for the belt boxes, the Sabre and the speech module and do one final test. One final thing I always like to do is make sure there's some insulation between the positive and the negative terminal because we will be messing around with the wiring when we start futzing and dressing Vader again so just to make sure you don't run into trouble there just get some masking tape, electrical one masking tape. Cut it to size. So something really small. And stick that between the positive and the negative terminal to the back. And you should be good. Like that. Good. So. We've got the two wires that are coming from the back, one for the saber, one for the speech system. We've got the belt box wiring that comes down to one terminal for the positive and one for the negative. Let's get our third hand. So this is the positive terminal identified by the white. We've sought out the resistor to the positive terminal for the belt boxes. So we'll twist those together and get the other positive terminal coming from the Darth Vader body because we're doing parallel wiring so all positive terminals are going together twisted together so we have a good mechanical connection. Let's get our solder make that a solid joint again apply heat to what you want to solder and some tin let that dry. As you saw, it moved while drying and it dried up a dull and not shiny, so it's a cold joint. Reapply the heat, wait for it to dry again. Now it is shiny, so it's a good joint. Make sure it's cooled down. <clears throat> and get the negative terminals together. Again, twisting for a mechanical connection, like so. And making a solid joint. Then we get our USB connector. I showed you how to make that in the other electronics video, so revisit that if you have missed that. Now before we connect this, let's just apply some heat shrink tubing because we can't do that afterwards. Get the heat shrink tubing on the easiest of the wires which is the wire for the USB connector. Once we made a connection, we can slide it over and heat up the joint so it's isolated. Again, the white to the white. So I want to make this a little longer. So we get our stripper like so. So in this cable mess, this is the wire coming from the USB plug, positive terminal to positive terminal, mechanical connection, so twist that on there, like so.
let's slide our heat shrink over that because we can be quite confident now that we won't have to access this joint again with all the testing we've done so far. That's good. Get our negative connection going. Twist that around. Clean the tip of the soldering iron in the brass curls or copper curls, whatever. That's good. Cool it down. Get the heat shrink over that. Like so. Okay, so let's see whether we did a good job or not. Uh, I'm again ready with the laptop. Plugging in the cable, we should have light, 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 and sound. Let's go. <laughs> good. I also placed some batteries in the remote so I can test the sound system further. Turn that on. Press the W, we should see a light, and it should start speaking sentences. A tremor in the force. The last time I felt it was in the presence of my old master. And we have another bingo. Don't underestimate the force. I find your lack of faith disturbing. The circle is now complete. When I left you, I was but the learner. Now I am the master. Your power is a weak old man. Let's plug and unplug the USB cable to see what happens to the lightsaber. And another thing that works for this kind of setup is as soon as you unplug the USB, there's no more power, so it resets the timer anytime you plug the USB back in or flip a switch, whatever you put in there, um, you'll be able to a tremor in the force. get the last time I felt it Darth Vader talking again. Okay, so in the next video, um, I'll be covering all the alterations you need to do to the uh, clothing. And uh, I'll show you how to properly futz and um, dress him again. Um, we'll also be doing some, um, some more painting and battle damaging to the chest box, the belt boxes, the chest box, uh, apply, applying a coat of flat paint to all the hands that shouldn't be shiny, uh, as well as making sure this flat shin guard is going to be shinier. So, um, as for this particular setup, I suggest um, you plug that into um, your power bay and get a single switching uh, power uh, supply socket for everything in your setup, so your uh, deodor lights or whatever you have to light things up, plus uh, 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 other things are powered on at the same time, which is how my setup works with one click. I can switch on everything from sound to um, light to everything. So I suggest you do that too. So that's why I'm not putting a mechanical switch in line with this, because um, it would be very unpractical to have to switch on everything by hand every time you want to look at your stuff. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.